Coming up, the gold standard for measuring the effectiveness of COVID-19 vaccines. Welcome to Just Facts News, where we bring you thoroughly vetted facts that other newscasts have ignored or distorted. Back in February of 2021, Anthony Fauci was commenting upon the rapid rate of people getting vaccinated in Israel, and he said this. It is noteworthy that when you look at the amount of vaccinations per 100 people, namely how many vaccinations were given per 100 people, Israeli, Israel is way up there with 78 doses per 100 people compared to the United States, which is 16.7 doses per 100 people. So we have been hearing and seeing in the press that Israel has a remarkable diminution in cases associated with the efficiency of their vaccine. The reason I bring this out to you is that it is another example of the scientific data starting to point to the fact that vaccine is important, not only for the health of the individual, to protect them against infection and disease, including the variants that Dr. Walensky has mentioned just a moment ago. But it also has very important implications from a public health standpoint for interfering and diminishing the dynamics of the outbreak. Recently, however, COVID-19 cases have been exploding in Israel and the case rate is currently higher than it has ever been. Does this mean Fauci was wrong? The answer is yes and no. He was entirely accurate in the statistics he presented. However, he was wrong to make the assumption that the decline in COVID-19 cases must be the result of the vaccines. This is a trap that people consistently fall into. They confuse association with causation. In fact, the COVID-19 decline in Israel back in February may have been caused by the vaccine, or it may have been caused by other factors or a combination of factors. Maybe it was a change in the weather. Maybe it was a change in the social distancing habits of people. Maybe it was that a lot of the elderly people who were vulnerable to COVID-19 had died already. One cannot just look at two events that occur at the same time and presume that one is causing the other. The same applies to people who would look at what's going on in Israel today and say, the vaccine doesn't work. Do you see what's going on? Again, there may be many other factors at play here. In high school statistics, students are taught not to confuse association with causation, but people do it all the time. To control for all the variables that are inherent in real world circumstances, scientists have developed a type of study called a randomized control trial. And what it does is it takes a group of people and randomly assigns some to receive a treatment and others to not receive that treatment. And this controls for all the other variables that are out there and truly gives us the gold standard for determining whether a medical intervention whether it be a vaccine or anything else, is effective. The latest randomized control trial for a COVID-19 vaccine, and it was done for the Pfizer vaccine, was completed and recently published. And it shows that people who receive the vaccine are 95% less likely to contract a serious case of COVID-19 than those who don't. Now, every study has its limitations. This particular one is that it extended only over six months. Ergo, we don't know what will happen with people outside of that time period. Thus, it is always important to make sure we understand the applicability and relevance of a study and not just make simplistic statements like vaccines work, they don't work, whatever it may be. And it's important to say when we don't know the truth that we don't know. This is something all of us could benefit from, including, yes, Anthony Fauci, the director of the Institute for Infectious Diseases at the National Institutes for Health. Thank you for joining us. 
Tune in next time for more thoroughly vetted facts about current events.